Alright, today we are finishing this game off. You'll notice I cleverly diagonally selected Sigma. I don't know why, that just uh, used to amuse me when I was younger. Little worms come out of those holes so you can fill up your sub tanks or your weapons if you happen to die for this boss. And we, we skip around the walls, good times are had by all. And that is a fancy boss game Sigma has. There is Baldi himself. <clears throat> with a dog. Why? Why not? You'll notice Sigma continues the proud tradition of this game of pretty much saying X is the most worthless thing ever. But then says don't disappoint me. Stop say sending us mixed signals, Baldi. So first we get to fight Sigma's pet, um, who really just jumps around and will occasionally shoot fire or ice. Fire can be avoided by jumping, the ice can be avoided either by getting close to the dog or far away from it. Either way, its weakness is shotgun ice, and it is really an easy boss. Normally I just hadouken it out of its misery, but why not? And now we get to the uh, the real big fight here. Almost as good. It's Darth Vader! Sorry, that joke was too easy. Um, this is another one of those fights where I get hurt way more than I should because I'm trying to get him to show off his attacks. The easiest way to handle this fight is just to stay on the wall. Because if you do that, you force him to do this little crisscrossing thing, and you can just hit him with the electric spark on the way down. And it's that easy to beat this guy. Other than that, if you're on the ground for too long, he'll come charge at you or shoot things from the uh, jewel on his bald, bald head. I have a lot of hair, so I have it out with the bald guys. And I didn't do that thing of running over into the explosion that X did. He does that himself. Oh my gosh, that's horrifying. Now, this was pretty epic back in the early 90s, so it's something. I'm um, just going to heal up before we move on. This boss can only be damaged by their own shield or by a fully charged X-Buster shot. Um, as you can see, there is a lot going on in this fight. Uh, what you really want to do is stay either on one of his hands or on the walls. Um, and just dodge his, like, overcompensating attacks. That is kind of what you think of when you look at this boss. He must be compensating for something. Robot impotence is not a funny matter. It's a serious problem that we must address. Also, it really hurts when this guy hits you with anything. Um, so if you're trying to do this without getting any heart tanks or without the body armor upgrade, pretty much two hits and you're done. Also, his uh, speech font color changes just because. Teleport out just in time. Oh, did we forget to mention that his fortress is floating? Because it totally was the whole time. And now it is time for some introspection. Yes, the war has ended somehow. It's not as though in the Mega Man series, bald guys are known to come back and fight again for a sequel. And so, what have we learned as X stares out across the sea? Well, we've learned not to underestimate our friends or our enemies. We've learned that penguins, especially the chili kind, can be cold, cold bastards. We've given credence to our long-standing fear of bald people with jewels on their forehead and energy swords. It's been a long journey, but we're finally done. Or so we think. But as X notes, somehow this clairvoyance he has tells him he'll fight the Mavericks again. 
which kind of contradicts the whole the war has ended thing a couple paragraphs earlier. But shh, it's introspection time. We also note a psychopathic dependence on his personified gun on his hand. I know only my hand knows what I'm going to be doing the rest of the afternoon. <sighs> so after this cathartic experience, we can go to an even more cathartic experience of running along a highway. You know, the one that's connected to the cliff that was connected to the floating fortress. That highway. Um, at this point, I'm going to put a link to the end of the video where the secret message is, because at this point it's just kind of making fun of things. And um, I don't blame you a bit for skipping. So, this game, while other Mega Man games have thrown in enemy names at the end, this game has the oddest enemies, like Thunder Slimer, the mini boss from Spark Mandrel stage. That sounds like a, a really odd insult to give somebody. Hey, I'm gonna go try that tomorrow. Call people Thunder Slimers. And the Sign Faller. Better than a Tangent Faller, I always say. You'll notice the last one on Sigma, Belgwater. I don't know if that's supposed to be like his final form or the dog. Yeah, it's kind of ambiguous. Another thing to note here is that if you noticed earlier, some of these Mavericks have like the Sigma symbol on them uh, in the game, but now they don't, now that they're ghosts. The most obvious one to see that on is Flame Mammoth, but uh, evidently we freed them instead of brutally murdering them. The X series is kind of uncertain as to whether or not you murder or free these Reploids by killing them. Um, and for the sake of legal troubles, if you want to free somebody, I say you don't kill them. And if you do kill them, please don't sue me. I would be very sad. <laughs> you Boba Fett looking guy, you. I'll miss you, Baldy. And Zero, I'm sure we'll never see you again. And with that, now that we've gone through the epilogue and the cast, we get to go through ending part three, the credits. And of course, the first person in the credits is you. Congratulations, you. You Mega Man X looking motherfucker, you. This is the best song in the entire game. It's like a jazzy little... Oh, I love it. You just dance to it all night long. Hey, Tatsunoko. I guess this is what happens when you get Tatsunoko versus Capcom. But, uh, I don't know, I guess they just kind of gave the sound guy free reign. It was like, have fun with this credit song. Elf. Why not? Professor F. Unfortunately, this game was not a bunch of mutants that could shoot lasers out of their eyes. That resort to shooting lasers out of their hand. You notice they have as many market planners as they have, like, programmers. And Capcom all staff, that's always the weirdest thing in credits, is, like, when they thank an entire organization with all staff. Now we get to listen to this jolly music for a minute until the secret Metal Gear Solid style of message plays. Do-do. I'm sorry if this is boring you. Again, I had a link earlier, so you can only blame yourself. It's all your fault. Especially her death. Oh, snap! I like the word temporary. That's kind of creepy. I'll find your body and it will do my bidding. Hmm. Very soon, huh? Could he mean tomorrow? 
I don't know. You'll have to find out then. So I hope y'all have enjoyed this, and um, have a nice day.